The Home Secretary, Theresa May, has accused a Conservative MP from Surrey of gender warfare. Dominic Raab had said feminists are amongst the most obnoxious bigots and that men are victims of flagrant discrimination. So what do people in his constituency make of the row? Alice Bandukravi has spent the afternoon in Isha finding out. Alice. Riz, this is part of the ongoing row about sexism in society, and it was underscored today by MP for Isha and Walton, Dominic Raab, Tory MP. Now, Dominic Raab believes that men get a raw deal in society. It all started with an online article in which he explained that he thought men uh, work for longer in their lives, they retire later, uh, they spend less time with their children. And he went so far as to say that feminists are now amongst the most obnoxious bigots. And he used uh, today, uh, he sees his opportunity today to make those points uh, to Theresa May, the Equalities Minister, as she was telling the Commons about new measures to help women in the workplace. From April this year, new parents will be able to share a period of paid leave through the introduction of additional paternity leave. Mr Dominic Roth. I thank the Minister for that answer and those clarifications. Does she agree with me that making maternity leave transferable would help eliminate anti-male discrimination in the workplace and give couples greater choice about how they address the career-family balance together. But the Equalities Minister was quick to refer to comments made by the Isha and Walton MP that some might consider controversial. In future, the employer will not know whether it's the male or the female who's in front of them for employment who will be taking time off to look after, look after a baby. And I think that's an important step in dealing with a discrimination. We should be trying to get away from gender warfare and the politics of difference, as my honourable friend has said. But I might suggest to him that labelling feminists as obnoxious bigots is not the way forward to do that. So what do people in Dominic Raab's constituency make of his comments? Are men really the underdogs? Women who get divorced are much worse off financially, um, you know, within two or three years than men are. So there are a lot, there are a lot, women leave the workforce because they're looking after children. Men don't have to worry about that. Women can't get mortgages because they haven't been working. So there are a lot, I think the issues related to women are frankly a lot more complicated than with men. This is one of the reasons why women don't want to be financially dependent on men so much anymore because generally speaking, whoever has the financial ability in a relationship or in a situation is going to be the one who has more of the power. I think we've got to a, a point now in society that we can't say anything. People will not be able to have an opinion on anything whatsoever. It's quite sad that we've, got to, we've come to this. Well, I would like to say this. I'm 64 and I'm, it's a man's world. And, and my wife is very upstanding and she'll call a spade a spade. Uh, but, but, you know, men seem to get most of the work, most of the jobs, big jobs, earn money. Well, uh, men may well spend longer at work, but judging from this pub in Isha, they also spend more time drinking because I'm the only woman here. Back to you, Riz. <laughs> Alice, thank you.